Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. We are going to see a process of uh, automatic semantic content extraction in videos using the fuzzy rule ontology and based on the data mining process. In this process, we are going to extract the information of a video data which is supposed to be an OWL data. So in this process, uh, we are going to extract a, a, a large kind of events object and uh, and its subject events in the existing technique manual data extraction is proposed to evolve it and extract the da data content of the video and we have used uh, some tools like annotations for the extraction of the video data but in this proposed system we have used a fuzzy semantic model that uses a spatial and temporal relation the, uh, and also we have evaluated the ontology meta ontology definitions for the um, rule based model that is used to construct an ontology for a given domain by means of this proposed methodology we have uh, um, reduced the manual feature extraction methods and also we have defined some complex uh, we have reduced some complex rule relations by means of extract object content and the event extraction next we are going to see a data flow of this process in this data flow process first we go going to input an OWL data and after that we are going to extract the content of the video data for that we have categorized into a uh, to um, first we have to identify the instance on objects which in turn the object extraction so instance are nothing but the number of different objects and after that we are going to um, find out the spatial relation extractions for the spatial relation extraction there are three kinds of uh, spatial relation we found find out by means of the ontology domain extraction algorithm which in turn categorized into topological relation distant relation and position relation topological relation which in terms refers to the some um, some structure of the data and after the distance which is used to find the distance of one between the relations and the portion which is refers to the x y axis and after that we find out the event extraction for that event extraction we give an object as an instance by means of that instance we are going to extract the components then after that we extract the objects in, pl in place of events at last we have uh, by means of this uh, event extraction we have categorized the data into now objects events and then subjects which in turn use to uh, generate the query in a very affordable manner now at last we get a, a whole input uh, OWL ontology web languages and um, paragraph data by means of the concept extraction at last we get the concept instance of each and every objects next we are going to see the demo of the process in this package first you just run the input SLITs dot java after running this file we have to input the OW data so we are picking the uh, OW data in the such as the basketball data after loading the data you just click the get attributes when you give the uh, get attributes, attributes are extracted in this manner. Likewise, here all the events and the sub events, object and subjects are extracted. After that, we are going to identify the classes. When you click this class identification, here the all the class attributes are separated. Like so, here we have listed uh, 40, 41, we have categorized the data set into 41 attribute classes. And after that, we are going to apply the Discom property for this each and every classes which is listed in this process. So just uh, give the Viscom properties. So when you list the Viscom properties, here we are. Uh, what we have done is we have find the relations of this each and specific classes. For example, the object, distance, position, temporal. This object, distance, spatial relation, temporal, and position relation 
together is known as the viscom property so we have extracted the um, uh, the class for for 41 classes we have se separated the object distance and the temporal relation for each and every classes we can see the class 1 class 5 for each uh, for every each and every class we have listed the spatial temporal and uh, object relations <coughs> after that we just give the view separately when you give this view separately process uh, we have uh, shown the temporal relation objects and the movement and the spatial relations of the each and in the form of viscom properties once you give the uh, and after that we are going to extract the process in that uh, object event type extraction first we have we have extracted the uh, first we have generate buttons just give the generate button here you can see we have now removed the unwanted irrelevant features once you done the irrelevant uh, remove the irrelevant features first give first scroll down this object scroll button and give extract here the objects are extracted and after that you scroll down to the event here events are extracted so uh, so in this um, object in that event properties um, the main and its sub events are listed with that uh, for example free throw mr sn main event and its temporal spatial relation uh, this temporal relations are listed here once you give this after that uh, at last you scroll down the spatial and after that give extract here you can also see that uh, uh, spatial relations also extract um, here um, in this object event type extraction process we have uh, extracted three kinds of process only is object and event and spatial so for the spatial there are 242 instances and the attributes instances uh, just refers to the total number of rows and the attributes are refers to the number of unique uh, rows row data and after that uh, we are uh, just give object data so here the when you give the object data means here it will list the objects for example player is an object uh, and it de and it also defines the uh, relation for example player is a person so is a is a type we define the player as a person here likewise each and every object and their relation and its type uh, mentioned like event are classified here event is a jump for example pass jump ball is an event and their respective HTA uh, first component is action uh, likewise uh, every each and every event is listed and this HTS component are classified after that we just give the ontology process in that uh, uh, in this process just select the temporal relation sp spatial change and uh, temporal spatial component change so here uh, just give the apply process mm, here we have listed number of instances and their uh, spatial change and the temporal space change component here uh, we have listed that a main event and its sub relevant event and this temporal um, and the rebound rules and after that we have um, listed the make event definition with the spatial change and uh, temporal spatial change component pick up this and give a play so in that uh, you have listed the event definitions so here we have listed the events and there here we have listed the uh, definition for the each and every events here so once you classify this and after we give the event definition here you can see the definition for each and every event for example the uh, we have in the case of free throw event we have listed what are the uh, event definition are available for that for example jump ball and dunk uh, after that you give the temporal relation temporal means uh, actually temporal refers to time here also uh, we have listed the event uh, before that event wha what are the process we are going to do for example ball uh, moves and passes hope is an event before that uh, before the ball hits we have to perform the ball moves hit event that is a process and after that give the 
event extraction here we are going to extract the events from the on in the form of ontology basis first give the get values here all the commas are extracted successfully after that give the um, spatial relation index spatial relation common index source index uh, spatial relation component index just give that here all the spatial relation components are listed here for example free throw ball out and ball hop all the elements are listed here and after that we have uh, listed the spatial movement index here the movements are listed for example ball and the ball moves in the left side for uh, all the movements are listed here and after the spatial change component index is listed here here the spatial change component are listed what are the changes which are happening after the event which will be listed here uh, after that you give the uh, temporal spatial change temporal means it refers to both time and place that kind of events will be listed here and after that give uh, event definition index so it will list the event definition on this with, the, with respect to that uh, sub events once you extracted this uh, just give the event type there are three kinds of events will be listed the main events will be listed free throw rebound and shot will be listed just give the uh, pick any one of the event and give object here uh, the object are extracted for the respective event and after that you just give the even for subject so once the object are extracted we have extracted the subjects for uh, um, the respective events so for all through this process we have uh, mm, used the ontology construction with this com process and the event extraction algorithm for extracting the subject and uh, temporal relations and after that uh, so for example here is a free throw is an event these are the subject and, uh, and the respective objects will be listed here once you give this after you give the process here uh, once you click this concept button here the main match defense attack these are the list of main uh, concepts are extracted here uh, and we uh, extract the respective components for the concepts for example defense is one of the component which is used for the matches and after that uh, you are going to give the extract uh, extraction process here uh, we have extracted the um, events and the object for the respective concepts so player is an uh, 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 respective object for that we have used the concept uh, uh, extraction process for the defense like that shot is an uh, um, object um, for that we have used the respective event like wait we uh, we extracted the concept here at last we get the output like uh, all through the process we have um, I evaluated the OW data and we uh, we we classified uh, like an even and its sub events object subject likewise we have extracted the OW data in the form of paragraph data likewise we have sequentially arranged the process at last we, we give the evaluations graph in the evaluation graphs you tend to see that uh, we have extracted the rules for that we have measured the um, execution time in times of millisecond now after that you just save the OW uh, we have uh, process the OW data in the, for, uh, in the form of paragraph data we save the data in any directories just I am saving in name of any file object and just saving it you save your file is saved successfully and all through the process we have ach achieved that uh, semantic ontology uh, rule extraction process for the whole video da video related data uh, thereby we improving the accuracy in extracting the video data successfully thank you for watching